Hello loves, let's get into styling my hair. We are going to be doing a new braid down pattern today. And the last time I did my hair, I did the individual blocks in the front to get the illusion of individual blocks all over. However, I wanted to really focus the individual illusion on the edges. So we're only gonna be doing the individual blocks around the edges and then connecting that block, that one strand braid to the rest of the plaque and just braiding it back. And I'm only doing it for the six blocks in the front in the middle and then the two braids on the side I'm just doing straight back braids and I'm going to connect them to the braids in the back and I just did six braids in the back and I just connected everything together so I hope that makes sense for you guys but the hair that we're going to be installing today is from Y Wigs these are pre-loop crochet braids. These are the boho braids and they do have human hair curly pieces, which makes it very easy to upkeep the curly pieces on these braids. So I wanted to do a little color this time. So we're gonna do some highlights and we're also gonna mix it with the dark hair as well. And I absolutely love the way that it came out. They use synthetic hair to create these braids, but for the curly pieces that are hanging outside of the braids, it's human hair and it's also human hair at the bottom. As you can see, this part right here is the pre-loop part. And this part is what gave me a little bit of trouble because as you can see, that hole is so small and I was trying to fit the plait through that hole and it was just not working. So after trial and error, I realized that I had to stretch the pre-looped area out before putting the hair through the loop and I it took me a few braids to realize that but I want to go ahead and warn you now because I don't want you to get these and then be like why is this hole so small the hair is not fitting through it you do have to take the hair out before you install it you have to stretch the pre-looped area out and it'll make it easier for the hair to go through so as you can see I'm just pulling that hair down a little bit and that opens up the pre-looped area right here so I'm just gonna keep tugging at it until I get it to a size where I feel like the hair will fit through. It was a little time consuming in the beginning before I began to realize how to stretch that pre-looped area out. And just take your time with installing these to make sure your hair, the hair is not getting tangled up when you are taking the end of the crochet braid through the pre-looped area. As you can see, like I had to take my time installing these and I ain't gonna lie, I was getting a little stressed out in the beginning. I'm like, what in the world? But once I got the hang of it, it was game on. So I just kept stretching the pre-looped area out, the hole out and just installing them. So I'm just gonna let you watch me install them. And with the with the colored pieces, I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to space them. So I know I wanted two in the front so I can have those hanging in my face. <laughs> Thank you. 
I really like the braid pattern that I did today with the blocks in the front and just the two regular braids on the side. After wearing my hair like this for about two weeks now, I really like this braid pattern and it didn't take as long. The whole process from start to finish took about two and a half hours kind of like pushing at three hours mainly because I did have to make sure I stretch out the pre-loop area on each individual braid and that did take a little time but I absolutely love the end result like look at that it is so gorgeous girl and I just love the peekaboo highlighted addition to this style hair is just beautiful I will have everything linked down below in the description box so you guys can check it out and I did use a total of like three and a half packs. So two full packs of the, um, well actually no, four, almost four packs. So I used two full of the black and then one full highlighted and then like a half of another black pack. So the look came out pretty as ever. Like I said, I will have everything linked down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Oh.